Hello and welcome to Arsishim in the Hang. DJI goggles. I often get the question uh, how to get the best range, which antennas do I recommend and what kind of range do they give us. I found a nicer uh, method for me how to test the DJI goggles and the antennas that are on. Check the GPS locks of this thing here. The flight controls, beta flight lock and the SRT file of the DJI system. I can compare distance to bitrate quite well. Do we sacrifice a lot of range with stubbies versus those? And maybe later I also try some patches in combination. I want to fly on an open field with 25 milliwatts and see exactly how far can I go with these until I hit like one megabit and, and chicken out on the video feed. Okay, the lights try to fly a steady route in about five meters of altitude over, let's keep it over the power lines and over this barn or building just following the road so I'm gonna increase altitude a bit more the so the range is already quite good <laughs> nothing blocks here ah now it's it's gotten down to seven 25, 5, might be scary enough to turn back soon, 19, 20, oh shit, that's really scary, 5, 14, and that's so random, that's so random that I want to turn back home now. It's already quite the distance. I'd say 500 meters, but I will know better if looking in the locks. Now coming back at myself, it looks pretty good. Okay, I will just fly these paths with the different antennas and examine the locks for you yeah. and the signal bars are red all the time now they are white <laughs> see if i can land here okay second test flight will be with the normal lollipops that I kind of used for the last few weeks and now like it's hard to keep a consistent speed or a consistent head position <laughs> but I fly over the building And we'll continue the road. Five. Now I had my first low at 12 megabits. But it is what it was way more jumpy with the stubbies, that's for sure. 20... It's quite solid. 11, 6... Uh, time to turn around. Until the horse farm. Okay, I will fly a bit faster. Because I'm burning in the sun. And I'm not the tan guy. You know me. <laughs> but this is fun. 
Now in the next flight we will see how it works with patches. If I can go crazy far with 25 millivolts and the patches. Trying to move my head up as much as I can. Okay. Sorry for the noise level. So now I'm really curious. Signal is already red with two bars. Megabits on 50, solid 50. Of course, in this test, the patches must shine. Oh, there's some horse, horses down there. 42, so the first degrade in bitrate. But the signal indicator blinks and is freaking out on me. But I still have 50. Try to keep my head up. 30. Yeah, but you will see it anyways in the overlay. I will keep my mouse shut. I will fly a bit further on the right here. Ah, but really, yeah, so of course, and we all knew this before, patches really work better in one direction. Who would have thought this? Yay! But this just goes to show, yeah, have you seen it? No, seven, a bit for short. This only goes to show how much better are the patches really. Now we'll see how far I can fly over this field for you before I chicken out on seven, six, <laughs> 22, 16, no, I chicken out right now. But it's like double the range that I had, or uh, a third more range. Okay, I can live with this and we'll see about this, how nice this works. It's just kind of a first test of my new ideas on antenna tests with the nice SG325 with its GPS capabilities and its wobbly flight characteristics. With its, uh, for me, stupid long flight times of 12 minutes and more and the GPS locking function, which I really love. So by now I will have already maybe cluttered you with uh, logs, diagrams, charts and, and numbers. So yeah, let me know in the comments how you like my approach. <laughs> I, I'm of course very happy that I can jump into the lake now because it's really hot in the sun, believe it or not. It's the end of summer here. But it's yeah, still hot. Very nice. After you've seen those individual flights, now it's time to discuss an overview here. And I tried to plot them in a way that you see their relative distance. That I got with them. I'm not sure if I could have gotten way further with the stubbies or the normal lollies if I had pushed it until connection disconnected. But yeah, that's the point where I started feeling really uncomfortable with low bit rate, so I turned around there. And so the, the overall range you got was pretty similar, but if you compare the blue and orange lines, the blue was way more consistent around 20 megabits where the orange one went up and down when I was further away. So that was yeah, kind of showing if you hit the dead spots or the antenna nulls it can get you really into some trouble there. Whereas the green line, it, it's weird that it still had some early drops to under 10 mbits, but it recovered a lot of the times. And no, it's not the cars passing by. First I thought that the cars kind of blocked my vision there, but I, I checked it. it, it's not the case. As, as we see with the green line, I had to stretch it to 
kind of show you the, the distance advantage until I had to return. And it's quite obvious. It's yeah, 30% more or something like this. And here I tried to overlay all the curves and synced it up with the first landmark to have it comparable. And then I decided to go for the for a, an average of 10 measurements. So the lines are not so jumpy. In the background, you still see the jumpy lines. And now you can compare orange versus blue. Surprisingly, the orange is better first, but then it's really low and the blue wins. And the green, of course, is over the top because yeah, in almost all cases, it's higher and it's gotten way further. Okay, that was my setup for the last flight. And it, of course, it worked pretty darn good. Even though uh, maybe it was mainly the orca that worked for me. Because if I see it now, yeah, but it has a white beam, beam width. So yeah, aiming, aiming with patches is of course not too easy. So you want to have a mount with like many patches or helicals that are angled the right way by default. We'll take a look at this. And of course, yeah, I already said you that I love this flying thing here. Hope you appreciate my burning in the sun here for you. <laughs> no, it was nice. Thanks a lot for watching. Hope you liked my video. Let me know in the comments what are your favorite antennas and your experiences with DJI FPV. And now I'm gonna jump into the lake because it's hot. See you next time. Bye. Let's find a moment to appreciate my two patrons. <laughs> I didn't actively like advertise me being on Patreon, but I really love that a few people can support you versus the craziness with YouTube algorithms and stuff like you need to make a lot of videos and the content doesn't really matter. It just needs to be positive and yeah, sell as many products as you can to be successful. That's not my style here and I really appreciate that a few guys uh, already recognized my channel and helped me out on Patreon. So there yeah, sure is a link somewhere, but don't be forced into anything. Of course, I will list all my patrons on my wall in some way. Please subscribe and also use the bell icon to get notifications when I upload new videos.